So what are the best sites to help you in your architecture life, whether you are a student, intern, or a professional architect? Internet is here to help with seven sites that will make your visualizations crisp, you can buy affordable products, and learn new skills that you need in your architectural life. Also, watch till the end to see my absolute favorite website of all times. So let's get started. The first website is Pim My Drawing. This is a cool website if you need vector-based characters to populate your renderings. They offer high detail outlines of models to complete monochromatic project schematics. That was a hard word. They are free and you can also download them as DWG or Illustrator files. And the good thing about vector-based is that you won't lose the quality if you are anything like me and you're indecisive and you're sizing up or down on your images every 5 seconds. Skillshare I do a lot of videos on this channel about rendering on Photoshop and so many ask how I learned Photoshop or how to practice visualizations. If you want to start learning Photoshop, then have a look at Skillshare. I've worked with Skillshare on my best 7 sites for architects and so many of you have loved the video and the site so they decided to work with me on another video. So massive thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. And if you don't know what Skillshare is, it is basically an online learning community with more than 25,000 classes in design business and more and if you get premium membership you will get unlimited access to all of those learning classes they have plenty of tutorials of Photoshop and Illustrator and these are exactly the type of tutorials that got me to where I am today and the best thing is that Skillshare is also super affordable as the annual subscription is less than $10 a month and Skillshare has provided us with an amazing deal. So again, the first 500 of my subscribers to use the link in the description will get two months free trial. And you can cancel at any time, so you should definitely sign up. Map chart. I talked in my last video as to where you, where you can find line drawings of topography, cities, and sites. So have a look at that video to see where you can get those for free if you're still searching for a map or a line drawing. However, map chart is also very handy if you need to create custom maps of the world, Europe, United States, or the UK with colors and descriptions of your choice. And you can use the site to create diagrams like these ones. Graphics Direct. So I always get asked all the time where I buy my sketchbooks and my architectural supplies. So have a look at Graphics Direct. I mentioned them before as they are quite affordable comparing to other sites or shops for art supplies. And if you go through their sites, they always have a lot of deals like 50% off their uh, recommended retail price. However, they do ship mainly to areas in the UK and Europe. So double check if they can ship to your city before ordering. And also have a look at the description of this video and every other video I post where I share with you the supplies that I use. You will find direct links to shopping links and you will find that most of them are affordable and high quality because well, I'm a student and I ain't got no money, okay? I'd rather spend my money on food and not a paintbrush. They are also from Amazon so you can easily shop them. Norman Foster Archive. So my lecturer showed me this site not so long ago and I knew I had to show it to you guys because it's amazing. If you don't know who Norman Foster is, you must be living under a rock because Norman Foster and Partners is a global studio for sustainable architecture, urbanism and design founded by Norman Foster in 1967. So if anyone knows about sustainable high-tech modern architecture, it's this guy. So if you go to their regular site, you don't always see drawings, plans, sections, or elevations. It's quite ironic though that the day I'm filming best sites for architects, my Wi-Fi goes slow. Real mature Wi-Fi. If you go to the archives, you can view so many projects by Norman Foster and their drawings. You can zoom in, read everything, and even better, download the images at high resolutions. You can search for different projects, you can learn more about their descriptions. You're welcome. Arc Paper. The name really says it all actually, because it's a site that shows you global news on the topic of architecture and design. So with this site, you can read how many buildings have caught on fire this week, which is so tragic. 
But you can also read about new projects and new fines architects must pay and new projects. Oh wait, I already said that. It is essential to stay updated on our profession, so definitely check it out. So this site is my absolute favorite. It's in my bookmarks all the time because I love it so much. So this site shows you a gallery of students' projects that have received medals for their work and it's organized by the RIBA and is considered as the most prestigious prize in architectural education globally. It's nice sometimes to see what your peers are doing and get inspirations on your projects, thesis or visuals and hopefully, hopefully, one of my goals for the next three years is to win one of those medals because you can win one for your part one part two or your dissertation so wish me luck and that is all for today's video let me know down below what you thought about these sites and if you knew about them or if you have used them or if you know other sites that are better than the ones i mentioned today so don't forget to leave them in the comments down below and thank you again to skillshare for sponsoring today's video and don't forget to use the link in the comments down below and don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and share it to your friends if you thought it was useful i am rasha shiroro and i will see you next time